Hey everyone, have you ever wondered what it's like driving in a new country with a different set of rules and road signs you might not be used to? We've got you covered. In this episode, you're going to find out what steps we had to take to get our driver's license and what it's like driving a big minivan down those narrow Italian streets. Prior to getting our driver's license, we had to take a safety course, which at first I thought was unnecessary. But after listening to the brief and looking at the slides and seeing all that Italy is different compared to America driving, I think the course really was necessary. There was a lot of information and a lot of things similar to America, but very different. There are a ton of road signs in Italy. We had to relearn those because they do not look like anything in America. Interestingly, after taking the safety course, we did not have to take a test. It was a lot to learn in 45 minutes, so I hope we committed it all to memory. We did have the option to bring one car if we wanted, so after talking to a lot of people that already live here, we decided to bring the minivan. They just don't sell cars that are big like that here, and all of my friends said I would enjoy having it for going on trips or needing to travel with around the family. However, they said you may get stuck down some streets where you have to end up backing out. The minivan here sticks out like a sore thumb. Not only is it enormous and not like the cars that are made here, it also has a big square license plate instead of the traditional rectangular longer license plate. A typical European license plate, probably you've seen one before, is long and rectangular in shape. Basically, it screams we're Americans that don't know what we're doing. Once we finally got our licenses, we decided to go out on the road. And let me tell you what an experience that was. I've only seen a handful of stoplights and even fewer stop signs. Everything here is regulated by a roundabout, which seems easy enough until it has maybe five or six exits with signs pointing in 15 different directions. Driving down the road is challenging the closer you get to the water. And I mean that because the streets get narrower. There's times where you're gonna have to fold in your mirrors just driving down the street. And there's times when you're driving down a narrow street and then someone decides to back up. One of the first places we went after we got our licenses was downtown Catania. That was insane. For some reason, we decided to go into town when it was rush hour. So there's one big roundabout down there and there's like all these cars. In Italy, you have to drive defensive and be assertive at the same time. If there's a gap, you have to take it. You can't just wait. You have to have your head on a swivel. You could get hit at any point. It's sort of like playing Mario Kart. So first time going out into the city was a fail. I looked up a delicious restaurant in like the heart of the city center in Catania and <laughs> the driving is crazy. I tried to park and could not. we could not figure out the parking meter. <laughs> so we're leaving and Bo suggested McDonald's so that might be what we do. When we were at the van, Dad was driving around. It didn't look much like America because it's not America. Italy looks really different than America. The roads are smaller and we have to drive more carefully. We also got to go to the local mall. Italian malls are pretty similar. You're going to see stores like H&M, Adidas, GameStop. And the kids had a lot of fun there. They saw a stand where you could rent a Power Wheel version of a Ducati, a Vespa, and I believe it was a European car. So we got the kids in cars and motorcycles and just let them roam around the mall. When we went to a mall, I was able to ride a motorcycle and it was fun, it was fast, and we also did races with it. At the mall, I got to ride a Vespa. The Vespa was fun. We got to drive around the mall, well, we got to race around the mall, and we got to do all kinds of things. Now that we have our van and licenses, we can pretty much drive anywhere we want to now. If there's anywhere you want to see in Sicily in particular, or even Europe, drop it below in the comments. But until then, we're going to get used to Italian driving. Music